We're back. You're watching the weekly show. Santos is now in the green room uh, hitting up freeholder Jose Munoz for some money for the pantry. Again, if you would like to donate some money, uh, maybe in the credits or somewhere along uh, the show, we'll give you those addresses again. It's a very worthy cause. I know I got that Jersey City cynical aspect to me, but it is a worthy cause. Speaking of cynical, my next guest is a personal friend of mine. Uh, he is... The devil here in Jersey City is the owner of the 6th Street and Bankman, which has been in the newspaper repeatedly, repeatedly, and repeatedly. My buddy, Steve Hyman. Welcome, Steve. Welcome to the show. I don't know. You ever been on before? No, Pat. You tried to get I, me on before, but... Um, there was always some now, legal now thing. Now is now. Yes, there was always some legal thing that was going on. But I'm not supposed to have Mr. Morgan with you. I don't know what happened with Earl there. That's got me a little concerned. I don't know. I brought the food for him primarily, but uh, everybody else can put Well, I, I know my camera guy said the food was good. You know, uh, Santos is in there. He's sampling that free, that free food now. He's not used to that at the pantry. Again, you have, you've been victorious. You have another legal decision in your favor with the 6th Street embankment concerning the STB decision, where everybody, when the STB ruled that Conrail had uh, abandoned the property, I guess illegally, Everybody was, you know, having parties and the balloons were going off. It was a huge victory. Now that that's been a, turned, overturned, um, the, the United States Appeals Court ruled that the SDB had no jurisdiction in this matter. You, the, the property reverts back to you, right? Well, the property... It never that ever left. Yes, it never, never left. Uh, actually, it's owned by the LOCs, and my wife is the owner of the LOCs. Now, actually, it is Vicky's property. Right. Yes. You're more of the spokesperson, the husband, the person behind the scenes, supposedly. I'm the worker. You're the worker. Right now, there are no legal challenges to your ownership of the embankment, right? Or am I wrong on that? Um, there's, there's no active legal challenge to it. But uh, although very significant, the findings of the First Circuit Court of Appeal, the second highest court in the United States, um, it, it doesn't end uh, the, uh, the challenges that could arise. Uh, reading the newspaper, uh, although, as you said, they celebrated when they won the Oh, that was big decision. time, big time. That I think the, they, didn't they, they, take, they went down a casino in the park, I'm sure. That was the biggest moment in, um, in, in the Bankman Coalition's uh, history, and maybe even in Jew Jersey City's uh, history in fighting with me. But not uh, now. But, but, but uh, <laughs> now when, 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 I, when a court, not an agency, because the SDB, you have to understand, is, is, an, is an administrative agency. When a court, and the second highest court in the land, finds that they had no authority to even hear the case, and so they vacated whatever they did, uh, they didn't just say, uh, Hyman, LLCs, the property is yours. Uh, they suggested to, to the, uh, uh, in their decision that if anybody wanted to go forward with this, that the only person that could decide what the STB usurped the right to decide, and which we believe the city of Jersey City and Montaigne and, and um, uh, Curley knew this when they did it because Curley, in, in uh, midstream, uh, took part of this case to the federal court and uh, tried to, to prove it in federal court, and the judge threw it out of federal court. Um, that was while the, uh, uh, we were appealing the SDB decision, and um, the oh. STB asked the lawyer, excuse me, the circuit court asked the lawyer representing the STB, quite simply, have you ever had a case like this? He said, no. Has the STB ever had a case like this? He says, no. He sa they said, uh, you're right. We researched it. Do you know why you never had a case like this? He said, no. They said, because you didn't have the authority to hear it. Now, Montaigne, being the smartest guy in the railroad business, or was I refer to the smartest guy in the room? Or the smartest guy in the room. Maybe beyond that, the uh, smartest guy in the country. Well, he's, he's smart enough to be in the, on the plus side to about $250,000 or so. Yeah, he, he's getting paid. And city he, money, he, by he, the way. Your money, Jersey City. Jersey City money paying him while he represents at least three divergent interests in this property. The city of Jersey City, the 6th Street Embankment Coalition, I believe my other buddy, Louis Manzo, 
And, and rails three. to trails. And rails to trails. And um, all their names are in the captions of all of the, do the documents that are filed. Well, I'm sure all the names are on the checks that go to Montone. No. No, what name is on the checks that uh, go to him? City of Jersey yeah, City. Yeah, City of Jersey City. They're He's putting the bill. Pay paying the bill. And um, we're... I have a letter with me, actually, Pat, that uh, you're welcome to share with well, the audience. Well, we can audience. scan this and put it on, put it up there. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Kevin. Have Kevin make these little uh, notations there? We, we, we feel... We have a scanner for just this purpose. Go ahead. That's great. We, we feel and we know that there's a major conflict of interest that Montaigne has been operating under. He's not licensed to be practice law in New Jersey, and he's certainly, certainly not licensed, nor is any lawyer, to represent four divergent principles and views uh, in, in any matter um, that, that, that don't even overlap, don't coincide, and don't work together. What the city wants, what Rails to Trails wants, what the Embankment Coalition wants, and what Lewis Manza wants are all different things. But the only singular thing that they have in common is they want me not to own the property. So in that, for that, or my wife not to own the property. So in that line, uh, they, they are connected. Beyond that, the mayor, who I think is quite disingenuous and not realistic, um, has said that uh, he wants to see a, an extension of the light rail on top of the wall. This six blocks, it needs to have the light rail on top of it. Everywhere else in Jersey City, I'd say 95% of everywhere else the train runs, is that great? That's great. Sixth Street is a beautiful street to have a train at grade. It makes it easier for people to get on and off. It makes it much more practical to develop. I mean, they'd have to lay track in the road, get the parking off of Sixth Street, and they could be in business. Well, but the other thing, we just blew a bulb there. The other thing um, with the light rail idea, you'd have to go somewhere besides the, uh, the Sixth Street embankment. It has to get off there, and you'd have to acquire properties it, you know, it has to get down to wherever it's going to go, and you have to acquire more property, them in the domain. So just to put the, sick, the light rail up on the, the embankment would be up, up teen millions, possibly in the number of billions, it's which a, we have no money. It's, see, and New first, Jersey Transit has no thing, intention. There's been no commitment from New Jersey mm -hmm. Transit. There's not where they're going with the light rail right now. Not where they're going. And they, ha they have a major problem in New Jersey Transit, not with me. This is called the Bergen Hudson Light Rail. There's not one mile, one foot in Bergen County. And Bergen County is kind of unhappy with that. And if they're gonna <laughs> if they're gonna extend it For that matter, weren't they talking about using diesel engines when it gets to Bergen County? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Bergen County's so happy with that, but you're right. It hasn't hit Bergen County. No. No, so they, they, you know, one would say that. Well, that's what you get for top billing, Bergen Hudson Light Rail. Yeah, they got top billing, and they got. <laughs> they got nothing. They got something else. <laughs> it's good they have spare lights here. It's a tough day of filming, but uh, we're we're right on the light issue here. So this is what happened, to, you know, with the STB decision being vacated. Mm -hmm. Anyway, is it a vacated decision because they never had the the jurisdiction to make a decision on it? They had never never had the authority to hear it, but. Um, and, and I believe Montaigne knew that. Now, but he's... He, he, went, he went there specifically because he appears before them frequently, and he's uh, in favor there, and he figured that that was his best forum to go to. That's, that's what I imagined. Because it's more than coincidental that both of the city lawyers that are working on this thing actively um, in, is, are Curley and Montaigne, and both of them took these side routes that, that were very questionable. The federal judge came this close to sanctioning the city. Um, the only reason he didn't, and it's in his opinion if you want a copy of it, was that he felt that my lawyer uh, overreached in maybe 13 of her assertions of all the reasons that it shouldn't be there. And so he didn't give us damages. Uh, but uh, three years of wasted money between Curley and Montaigne, and, and they're saying, hey, no big deal. We can still start over. We can go to the district court and start all over. Well, they wasted, in my estimation, at least a half a million dollars between Curley and Montaigne. They didn't waste it. They stalled me from developing something that might have brought rateables to Jersey City, cleaned up a neighborhood that is 
gentrified on both sides, but in, in disrepair and, and ugliness when it comes to the wall. Now, the Sixth Street Embankment is just one ugly looking piece of property. It's all graffitied up. Recently, you had parts of it falling down where the city had to come in and take blocks out of there because it, there's nobody maintaining it. You know, the, the vegetation is just growing wild. Uh, you know, maybe it, it would be nice if it was all cleaned up and somebody just wanted to have pyramids there, but that's not going to be the future of that. It's but the, besides, stay on, stay on track. This isn't the only legal victory. No pun intended. Yes, no pun intended with the track. Well, they took the tracks down. There's right. no tracks up there anymore. Right. They took the tracks down, but they still claimed in front of the STB that it's a line of rail. They made Conrail take the tracks down, remove the bridges, and they had already discontinued operation train, but now... Now they want a freight train there. Didn't the city of Jersey City petition uh, some agency about re, uh, re instituting a rail service up on the embankment? They, they want, in addition to this light rail that's a little bit uh, lunacy, they want a, a freight rail. They, they went and, beyond lunacy now with yeah, this. I, I, I'm not sure if it's uh, in addition to or whether or not they're going to take these uh, light rail trains and make them, you know, like FedEx cargo carrying cars so that they could drop mail off uh, um, in the city, or whether or not they plan on shipping, you know, trucks and buses and whatever, you know, into downtown Jersey City via this historic, beautiful, what the embankment people want, park. You're going to put trains back on top of there? So those, those things are divergent. The, 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 the neighborhood, there's no the vision coalition, they want to that. Except walls. You, you have a vision. Yeah. The city and the rest of these groups, they have visions, but they're not the same one. Well, they all have different visions for this. Their visions and the are funny thing I'm, is, I'm the funny thing is, they all have visions for this, but nobody's come across with any money to buy it. The coalition has zero money to buy the property. The city of Jersey City could easily condemn your property. Pat, what was easier? Are they condemning it? No, you remember when? Or with the, when, with the, when, with the when, abatement? No. When, when you offered them the property when, as when, the devil? When we first got to know each other, what did I what, do? What, the trade? Yeah, what, what did I do? What, I offered Healy. Ten mayor million, Healy, the ten, mayor of Jersey City. Ten million dollars plus the embankment property to give me back some of the other property that he had taken away from my former partner, Levy, next to the Flinko property. Down Liberty Harbor North, that's that, that that's they, known. they had given to other developers, and the other developers, after having the property tied up for almost 10 years, finally just started building now. That would be Trans Hotel. Trans didn't start building. I don't think they've done anything. You're right. Yeah. Now, there were three or four scenarios that were presented to Mayor Healy. Right. And I know for a fact because I'm the one that presented them. We had met down at the Tunnel Diner with Mayor Healy on a couple of occasions mm -hmm. to uh, try to just nicely make a deal that was good for the city good for hymen you could develop and the city would always consider it and come back reject it but never made a counter proposal we got a break for commercial no counter proposal we'll be right back we're back you're watching the weekly show my buddy steve hymen's here who was feeling pretty good feeling his oats pumping up his muscles where are you with the city now on this because i don't know i can you deal with the city? You presented three or four different packages. I was involved with them. The city rejected them all, never made a counterproposal. After that, you've done some ridiculous offers with the city where you were going to give them four embankments. You were developed on two embankments. They can have parks in the middle. I was always against that. But you wanted to find a decent way to settle the issue with the city of Jersey City. Huh? You always reached for some sort of compromise and a Kicked you in the ass each time. Where are you now with the, I, I assume Massachusetts must have spoke to you. I assume on tone, somebody from the city had to speak to you now that, since the STB decision has been vacated. Because um, it's so important. Because that was such a big ruling. Yeah, I, nobody has spoken to me directly about it. Um, some, some of my lawyers have had conversations with, with uh, Bill Matsukutis. Um I, I, I think that it's right now there's nothing going on. Um, will there be something going on? Oh, uh, sure. According to what I read in the paper and according to what I, hear, I think Matt Zakuda said to one of my lawyers, the city is planning on, on starting a, a new lawsuit because this old one is out. It's out. 
matter of fact, just the way the, the, it, it operates, appearing in front of the STB is totally different than appearing in front of a real court. And you go through different things that you don't, you can't do with the STB. You know, you can have depositions, you could have interrogatories, you could have a trial, uh, all kinds of things. Um, and uh, now again, this is costing the city of Jersey City. City of Jersey City's got well, a foot th to build. Th this is a much more expensive undertaking than that. You people in Jersey City, but the rest of the other 110 cities and seven counties we're on. This is basically taking a man's property rights, and you can continually defend yourself. And each step of the way, you're continually successful in the courts. And I'm sure you're going to be, whatever the city comes up with, you're going to beat them again. Yes, but according to Montaigne in the newspaper, I'm, I'm stalling just beca because this I know... This is your that, delay. Because I know that he's going to win in the long run. <laughs> um, he's a big winner. I what think, I what do you want to do with the embankment? Would you, would you sell it to the city? Why doesn't the city just condemn it and say to hell with it? We're condemning your property. That'd be fine with me. Okay, the city condemns it. Why aren't they doing that? Well, why spend all this money in all these legal mumbo jumbo in various courts? Why not just condemn it? Because I know the answer. It's, but well, please, there's, please. there's several answers, but the, the, the first answer is, is that they don't have the first three million dollars to con condemn it with, and that would be the least amount of money that they could possibly even manage to put up. But so, and they know that in condemnation court. I mean, Bob Antonicello told me a long time ago, I had lunch with him two, three years ago, and he said, I don't want to fight you in condemnation court. I know your lawyers, I know you, I know we can't beat you in condemnation court. So they're trying to beat me by sneaking in the back doors and under the table, and they're d trying to do two things. One is that they felt that if the STB's decision, which was vacated, were, were realistic, that there's a motion in front of Judge Gallipoli now that we're going to ask him to dismiss that uh, Curley put in front of him, saying that um, the property should revert back to Conrail, and that the city should be able to buy it for the same price that I paid um, in, in 19, or excuse me, in 2005. Now, I want to explain something to you. If I bought this bottle of water that you've got in front of you empty from you for a dollar, and then I filled it up with, a, with gin, a little Pepsi, a little water, or even water. Anything. <laughs> and, and, and the government says, you've got to give this bottle back to them. And I give it back to you. I can't really change what it is right now because uh, it's... I it, made permanent. It's yours. It's, yeah. You're holding on to it. Is it fair that you should benefit by my improving that bottle? No. I don't think so. No. And I don't think that any court's going to find out. We spent countless amount of time and energy and money... And, and, and heart-wrenching work fighting with Jersey City that, that took a, a, nothing more than a, a position that uh, brought buyer's remorse. They should have bought it when they could have. They, they should have had it for nothing. They should have taken it. When, the day I bought it, they should have condemned it then. But tying me up on it or trying to tie me up, I've gotten approval after approval. I want to do something with it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm very disheartened just being in Jersey City. So my preference when you say, why don't they just condemn it? To sell condemn it. it. And pay me what, what the what Well, the they're not going to do now. that. They're not going to do, do that. Absolutely. You know, the, the city doesn't. We're talking about opening parks and all this. you got Reservoir 3 right outside of my studio here. The city owns the property. Healy saved it two, three years ago. It's, it's going to be open space. We're not going to build condominiums. Since that day, he hasn't put so much as a friggin' bench in that place. You think they got the? He can't afford a bench. You think they got the money to buy the right, embankment? Where, where would you want to spend most of your money to start with? If you were he, if you were the mayor, wouldn't you want City Hall to be in better shape? I think City Hall, you, you city-owned properties like the reservoir. Think we should put our energies and money into city-owned properties? You can't now? walk up the steps of City Hall without seeing broken steps, without seeing holes in the steps. That's well, a dungeon. That they place. Ju they just spent the fortune of money fixing over the uh, the council chamber. You've been there. Yeah. Is the audio visual? System. The no, worst. I was there, unfortunately, for six nights. The, wor uh, the, the worst. The historic commission I mean, they, uh, concerning the embankment. You know, they, want, they, they, they hired a contractor before the election, and I think it was because of the election, supposedly to spend $4 million to fix a, a, a pool up in the Lafayette section. Do you think it's really going to be done? Do you think if he does it that it's worth $4 million? And, 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 and how did it all happen? Will you eventually tear down the embankment? Will you take the walls down? Because you're going to, in the, the, the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm going to get... You're going to own everything fully 
free and clear. You're going to have all your permits and zoning in place. Uh, you have never, I don't think you've lost any legal decisions locally here. You've no. gone to the planning board. You've gone, they've rejected you. You've gone to court, and the courts have sided with you. Will you tear down the embankment walls? Well, at, at the end of the day, here's, here's what we see happening, or what I see happening, is we're appealing the, the, the ridiculous HPC decision. That Which you, that I filmed there. for six nights. Um, six the, crazy the, nights. The, 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 the <laughs> HPC great. decided that um, they, they saw a design where we were going to put two houses on top of the wall, save the walls, and... They said, we can see that you're going to make money off of those two houses, so there's no hardship. What they didn't pay attention to was what the ordinance says, that I'm entitled to a return 12% on the property as it exists now, not as it exists with future development. Even if that were the case, they gave me permission. They said, we think that you could do it, but they didn't give me permission to alter the walls. Now, I don't know how we're going to get the houses up or the people down well, they didn't even without understand. altering the walls. They, the the commissioners up there, they didn't even understand what you were trying to do. They didn't understand the experts, no, they the, understood. the engineers. That's why, that's why they, they obfuscated. No, when the guy came up with the ramp for the parking, yeah, that, was can't the, we, that was the lawyer. <laughs> that was the, the, Deneen, he came up with that idea. Why, why can't you just start, can't, start down by Newport and build a ramp? Now, let me fit. Inside the, the, each embankment is a block, block long, right? Block long by it's about 50, 60 it's feet? 100 foot by 400 foot. Now, to move cars around, you were going to put elevators in there, right? No, no. We were going to uh, hollow out. On, and, and, uh, Hold on. You were going to hollow the end. They were going to park downstairs. Park downstairs. And the people would take an elevator to, to, to the down, facility, to the, to the house right. on top of the embankment. That's and the problem was with the elevator, the expense, and people said, why don't you just drive the car up to the top? Right. And some, somebody actually said, well, why can't you build a ramp to bring the car, drive the car up to the top of the embankment? How big of a ramp would that have to be? I think it was about, be like, about the length of an embankment. You got it, about a city block. Yeah. And then I don't know how much returning radius you would need on top of the embankment to, to, to pull up. Well, that's what if the coalition you went, did, if, though. Coalition did that when they, with their park idea. They, they put a long ramp. <laughs> they're, they're ridiculous. If I could ever air... Nobody would ever watch the, I don't know, 20 hours of this commissioner hearing, the Historic Preservation Committee. If you were to listen to some of these things, it's like a blooper tape. It makes friggin' no sense. If there's ever a commission that needs to be absolved, that's it. Abolished, I should say. It's that, that group. You're going to take down the walls, right? I wanted to tell you how I think this thing will work. Will, Good, will you got two out. minutes. I want to take the walls down. July, just from sitting at those six nights, right. I want to take the walls down. I, I, I do too. I want to take and, the walls down. I, I, I want to be the first okay. sledgehammer. I do too, but I'm, I, you know, if I, I, I could be made to understand. You know, when I'm at those meetings, maybe I should show a little footage and we can edit it in. There's about 14 people on the right side of the council chambers. This is the people in. You know, pro park, pro save the embankment. Pro so park, about 14, the rest of the cities. You got it. About 14 people. This, you know, this is millions of dollars to do this, for, to make somebody, uh, 14 people happy. Or Mayor Healy once said he's not the mayor of 500 people for a park. He's got to make decisions that affect well, the entire he, city. He told me that this weekend. He said, you know, I am the mayor of 250,000 people because I was, he confronted me and I went to, and I talked to him about uh, my situation where he characterized me as a racist to, uh, a journalist from Channel 9 News. Over some ca campaign newspaper you had nothing to do with. I had nothing to do with, and I, and I told him that he had some nerve doing that. Well, I think you told him you can't, you could say F you, didn't you? Didn't you tell him uh, yeah. something along those lines? Yes, I, I did, and, and, he, and I said, you have a lot of nerve characterizing me as that. There's nothing is further from the truth. He said, well, you know, you did all this other stuff that was nasty to me, and, uh, and I, and I uh, figured that, uh, you know, you probably did that. So I assumed you did it. So yes. I did. So what, what? A, what attorney assumes? No yeah. attorney assumes. But we're out of time, Stephen. Oh, no. Give me one more minute. No, you got no more time. We're out of time. There's only so many minutes in an hour. For my buddy Steve Hyman, for Santos, who was there earlier, Kevin will put that address down again. I'm Pat Amelia. I'll talk to you during the week. Good night.